And then some breaking news coming in. The Delhi High Court has pulled up the centre on the shortage of antifungal drugs. The Delhi High Court has asked for a status of importing 2.3 lakh doses. The centre is unable, however, to give clarity on imported drugs. Uh, High Court uh, has told the centre that, uh, asked the centre, that how is it that one week later you don't know how much uh, is procured and that also there needs to be a clear policy. We can't be groping and conjecturing is what the High Court has said. Those are the details here. This is the High Court uh, as far as the shortage of antifungal drugs are concerned and asking, uh, in fact, asking for the status here of importing of 2.3 lakh doses and uh, the centre has not been able to give clarity on those imported drugs and that is what has, uh, you know, led the High Court to, uh, you know, pull up the centre over this issue saying that there needs to be a clear policy and that they cannot be groping and conjecturing. Those are some of the details here. Remember, this comes amidst a massive uh, shortage of the antifungal drug and the government had assured, the centre had assured that that shortage is not going to last very long because uh, more and more drugs are being procured uh, both domestically as well as uh, even uh, for, uh, from uh, internationally. Uh, but those are the latest details here. Nilashish is joining us on the phone line. Uh, Nilashish, if you can uh, take us through what uh, the latest details are, what the High Court has said on this issue. Well, yes, uh, the High Court has definitely expressed uh, great concern over the acute shortage of uh, the drug to uh, cure uh, black fungus, that is amphotericin. Uh, the center has been asked to formulate a policy with regard to who exactly uh, can get the uh, get the uh, drug at what time, uh, given the fact that there is an acute shortage. Now, what the court has asked is basically that in a situation where there are, uh, say, five number five patients and there is uh, there is this drug only for, say, two people in this, uh, where would the priorities lie? If there is someone who is above the age of, say, 80 and someone else who is uh, in the age group of, say, 20 to 30, 35, uh, should the younger uh, lot not be given priority? Well, the court has uh, again come out and stated that we must invest in our future, and though, there, though all lives are important, it is more important to choose the, the youth when it comes to prioritizing uh, the, the administration of this drug. Of course, uh, one can see how gravely short we are with respect to the amphotericin drug. Uh, and other uh, medicines to cure uh, mucormycosis. In this situation, the court has said that the current policy of the government is not satisfactory. They must come out with a certain policy. Now, beyond that, what the, gov uh, the court has also said is that I ICMR needs to answer a few questions because the shortage has gone on for over two weeks now, and they need to say uh, and come out in terms of uh, what exactly can be done when uh, when there are only two vials allocated uh, to a particular patient at a time when six per day are required, is that a good policy or not? And in that case, if there are only two vials, what other medicines can be taken to augment that situation? Very importantly, what the court has repeatedly said is that though it's a hard and a very sensitive topic, uh, the decision uh, finally needs to be taken as to whether the young uh, people or the youth need to be prioritized or not as compared to the older uh, generation, given the fact that right. they are moving on in years. Right. 